nutritious stream, we're gonna play a little bit of Dark Cloud 2, which is probably oh, let me add a marker, which is my favorite PS2 game. I think, I think it's my, this is my favorite PS2. Okay, so my right, okay, touchpad. Uh, but my X button is still uh kind of funky, so sometimes when I hit it, it doesn't work. We're we restarting Dark Cloud 2. Well, see, the thing with restarting it is. I'm pretty sure I had a different console last time I played Dark <gasps> Okay, so I actually have to redo everything. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, this, is on, this is on a different um, PS4. Uh, oh, I could re-download. I could, hold on. Can I download my, uh... I'll worry about that later. Because um, the only thing I'm really missing out on is the starting customization stuff, which doesn't really matter. But my pictures are kind of big deal that I would like to have uh it definitely makes the game a little bit harder for me because I can't just have like be overpowered for the majority of the game a little bull do but uh well I I don't know if, if I can't can't it's not for the majority of the game just because of how the level up uh, system works for the weapons which I can get into later but um yeah uh yeah shout out to bull do here if I find my bull do button there you go uh but yeah this is gonna be dark cloud 2 um, I guess I can supplement the, uh, throwbacks with this and maybe some Rogue Galaxy as well as some other things, uh, possibly on PS4 because my PS3 died. Um, yeah, there's some other stuff that I wanted to get into, but, uh, I'll just save that for when I guess I'm gonna turn my AC back on because I'm wearing a suit and it is really, really hot. Uh, I like the story in the first one more. This is always fun to play. I, I like this one a lot more. Uh, the story in the first one, I think I like a little bit more, but the gameplay overall I like better in this one. Hello, Yash. We're just going to start a new game up here. So we get to select Max's costume here. Uh, your costume doesn't really matter outside of maybe the wing shoes. I think the wing shoes are the only thing that have an impact on something uh, a little bit later on. And, um, you know, if we get to that tonight, which I don't know if we will, you know, I'll go over it then. Now, my favorite thing for Max is actually the denim overalls, and I think this is the like the most canon thing for him uh, going on this adventure. Um, this isn't bad. There's this one, but uh, I just like the denim ones uh, the most aesthetically. It's the most pleasing to me. And for the, again, for the cap, it doesn't really matter. Um, I feel like the maintenance cap goes with the denim overalls um, the best. I feel like it has that kind of... Uh, that kind of like repair guy feel with it. Look at the hunting cap though. Special cap's not bad. Yeah, I'll go with maintenance cap. That's Max's costume. That's all the customization we get because uh, I don't have complete um, game clear data on this. Pick the red clothes. Yeah, the red clothes aren't bad. Those are just that's what Max wears around the house if I remember correctly. Oh, also, because this is a PS2 game, uh, there's going to be black bars around uh, my screen, as you can see. Um, I can stretch it out to fit nicely on the screen, but it won't look very good if I do that. Again, because this is an older game. So, we're starting off uh, getting kind of thrown into some action here. And as you can see, this person is of uh, fairly high status. But we don't know who this person is yet. But uh, their home is getting attacked. For circle button to lock on and R1 to block. Oh, I forgot the circle was lock on. Okay, hold on. I might have to refamiliarize myself a little bit of this stuff. But as you can see here, um, X to attack, L1 plus X for magic, R1 to block. Oh, X is. Uh oh. Okay, so. My X button being funky is pretty bad, but. I'm just going to have to buy, buy a new controller when I get a chance. Uh, that might make tonight's stream kind of bad. Okay. I can use magic against these guys. Oh, there's also... Oh, can I do it yet? Hold on. Yeah, there's a like, little dodge. I don't know if there's any iframes on it, though. Okay. And you see when I block these guys... Uh, these griffin soldiers here actually don't take any damage from blocking their attacks. So as long as you, like, 
don't block or anything. As long as like you block, you'll be fine. Uh, or just not get hit. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to buy new controllers soon. Hold on. How much are they? On like Amazon. Just like, uh, can I get a? Can I get a non like? Dear mother, how are you? I'm doing fine. So much has happened that I don't know where to start. Well, I guess it's easiest to start at the beginning. It all began that night, right? That night of the storm. <laughs> The iframes is this back then? Uh I don't think I'm dodging. Oh, I'm soaked. oh, also, uh this voice should sound familiar to some of you. This is uh Scott Melville. Voice is Robin and Teen Titans. Pretty early today, huh? Yeah, I guess, but take a look at this. <laughs> Ta -da! Check this out. I got a ticket for Flotsam's Circus Troop. Oh, good for you. Your dad's not gonna try to stop you? He said I could go. Well, you better finish your work quick then, huh? Right. Hey, Max, what's that you got there? What's this? Father gave it to me yesterday. I always wear it, he said. It's pretty old. I don't know what it is. Hmm. Well, can I get started? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Gable's vacuum is set up below. Go to it, lad. Leave it to me. So, I don't know if... Oh, God. The... Hold on, let me see if I can fix this real quick. I don't know if that cutscene in particular was supposed to auto-advance a text like that, because I wasn't hitting X at all. I'm not sure, like, if... Maybe I could just take this apart and like clean it myself instead of buying or, or something. Cause it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, what's the, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. Uh, the button seems like it's kind of stuck. Like it doesn't, uh, I, I don't know what the word is I'm looking for. Like I know there's a word for it, but I can't remember. Hold on. Uh, where's my. I want to see if I can, uh, I know I need a, a bit better lighting, but sometimes I can finagle this. Wait, my left side, that it's showing up on right side, yeah, because that's where my light source is. Okay. I just don't want it to, like, turn me into a ghosty. Okay, I think I'm turn sort of turned into a ghosty right now, but hold on. No, that looks fine. Until later, I actually turn into a ghost, and then uh, okay, yeah, that looks good. All right. Anyway, um, so we're playing as Max. I like I said, this is Scott Millville, uh, voice of Robin from Teen Titans. But every time I hear the voice now, like all I can think of is Max because like I've just played this game that much. Um, like, I just, like, I associate with this nice before I associate it with Robin. Anyway, triangle opens a menu. Uh, I see we have characters. We have a few slots here. Uh, we have our item menu, which I just looked into. Um, and you see that you saw the three slots above on my character. Um, when I was controlling, uh, the girl in the first section. Uh, much like Dark Cloud 1, you can equip things. I'm just gonna equip these. And you see we have water, uh, metal holder, circus ticket, and I don't drink. Uh, repair powder, go to repair powder, and uh, bread. 
though right now we just have to go down below here's a save point which i'm actually gonna make use of right now um i shouldn't need oh wait what i oh did i not finish the game on that last playthrough then i guess i didn't or so then i should still have my camera stuff okay I guess I just didn't finish it. Okay, so here's the vacuum. Let's see. I think that repair tool was in the cabinet in the back. So you can look around a little bit. It doesn't really do much of anything uh, at the moment, though, because this is we're still kind of in tutorial mode. So you can, like... Actually, hold on. I don't know if... Maybe you can't look at anything. This book. Get the notebook. And uh, right here. Get the wrench. I don't know if you can skip getting the notebook. Um... Maybe you can. Hello, Rogath. Uh, this game come out early 2000s. Is this a PS2 game? 2002, 2003. Yeah, that sounds about right. I recognize more from the Sentine Titans since I played this before I watched the show. Oh, you yeah, know, that's what like I know it's Robin, but like like I said, I associated more with this than uh, than Teen Titans. Okay. Type two here. This is a pretty specialized hose attachment. Oh, the volume is okay, right? Hope it is. Oh, I see the problem. Like how we just kind of like like hitting it, it's just like. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, hold on, because Poldu's here. I couldn't use the GIF I wanted to use to for my going live uh, tweet today, but uh, hold on. I don't know if you ever ended up getting. Uh, I said the gift was too big, so I just didn't even really try to fix it. It was like, let's get to work. Uh. Oh, I turned my AC back. I think I'm gonna turn my AC back on. On the quiet side compared to me. Okay. I guess it was my headset that's kind of loud. Then, because when I had this up to like, I had this up here at like 10 or 9, 10. It sounded really loud, so I turned it down. All right. I think that's really loud now, though. Now let's let's try like five or six. It's about to start. How? Why the heck didn't it go off? Huh? He's gone? Pretty solid. Oh yeah, no, like this game definitely looks very nice. Like the art style is pretty cool. Our Dark Cloud one? Does, I don't know if that still holds up appearance wise. Um, but level five is also just a, I really like level five games. Like I think most level five games look pretty solid. Hold on, uh... Because I'm pretty sure I played Rogue Galaxy on stream a little bit. When did Rogue Galaxy come out? Rogue Galaxy came out in 07. Uh, no. Uh, it came out 05 for Japan, 07 in North America. And that, that like, is a similar art style to this. And, and, the main character in Rogue Galaxy is Will Friedle. It's Eric Matthews from Boy Meets World. <laughs> He's just the main character. He's like, wait a minute, okay. So, you need a ticket to go in. So you saw that exclamation point, right? The the reason I wanted to hit X is to get to kind of show that off. Um, when you see this, typically you have to have a specific item to interact with whatever you're trying to interact with. Uh, so we hit square, and uh, we use a circus ticket. Here you go. Hey, my ticket! I can't believe it. Of all the... <sighs> Find the boy who ran away with the ticket. Check out the people in town first. So, I don't know if you can go directly to where the boy is, to be honest. Um, but we have to get clues from the townspeople. I think you have to talk to the townspeople. Or this couple right here. Did you see a little kid coming this way? Nope. Do you see anything? He headed towards City Hall. Now that voice sounds familiar, but I don't know who it is. Um 
Anyway, City Hall is right over here. Let's talk, uh, let's, let's talk to this person. Anything wrong? Yeah, let's talk to uh, Granny. Wait. That's inverted camera. I don't remember if I like that. Did you see a red-haired boy run by? Oh, yes. Just now. I'm certain I saw him heading that way. So as you can see, there's only a spe there's like specific people we have to talk to to advance this. And... I believe the next person is... It's you. Everyone sounds familiar too, but I think that's just because I've played this game before. Huh? <laughs> hey! Gotcha! Hand over the ticket! I'm sorry, I just wanted to see the circus. Just once. You really want to see the circus, huh? Hmm. I'm sorry. I promise I'll never do it again. All right. There you go. Huh? Come on, it's yours. Really? Yep. I'll go see you next time. Wow, thanks. Really? You'd better go now. It's about to start. Okay, see ya! <sighs> what? You passed. You might be able to do it. Hurry! The first door is waiting for you. What is going on? Anyway, so I was a little weird, but I guess that's your kind of your your typical uh it's like you are the chosen one kind of uh I don't remember which map scene I will like. Uh, normal. Uh, can I change? That's. Anyway, let's do a little bit of this. Here it is. Hurry up! It's starting. Yep. I know, the voice is really good for Max. Ironically, Dark Cloud 1 had no voice acting whatsoever. I really went like all out with this one though. Yeah, I'm gonna turn my AC on because I'm wearing a suit and suits are hot. <laughs> hey, this is no good. I can't see so anything. I apologize in advance for the noise. <laughs>
don't know why they were juggling clowns. <laughs> oh, but here it is. Here we go. I don't see that so often. I don't know how many elephants I can do that. Well, I mean, I know one, this one. Not the only one that I know. Of. Hello, Austin, welcome to the stream. Chestnuts are the best! Is that the mayor? So, have you found it? Well, not yet. You see... Now, Mayor, are you really trying hard enough? You know what happens if you don't find the stone, <laughs> don't you? Wait, wait, please, I'm trying my best to find it. Please, I need more time. Ah, oh, well, what can you do? But remember, this chance is your last! Are you sure that the stone is in this town? <laughs> oh, I can smell it. I can smell it! The stone is in this town! Absolutely! But we've turned the mine inside out looking for it. We couldn't find a trace. <laughs> oh, sweet mayor. We've been through Poor mayor. This. I told you. Okay, now I'm kind of ghosty. I don't tolerate! Ah, but the people in this town really are living the sweet life, eh? Not knowing anything of the outside world, they're lost in their carefree lives. <laughs> With such a pack of ninnies, no wonder they can't find a single stone. Ninnies. <laughs> You can't tell anyone about the outside. There'd be a panic. Then no one would be able to look for your stone. Oh, I know, Mayor Pool. We'll keep it our little secret. <laughs> Darn! Who are you? Max, run, hurry! <laughs> Wake up, fools! Did you see it? The red stone around that boy's neck! We found it at last! <laughs> of course there's evil clowns. There's always evil clowns. Well, what are you waiting for? Get him! Also, the way this kind of like slid behind their their leader, I'm just like, that always struck me as weird. I'm like, how y'all doing this? Max has some pretty good dexterity. And agility. Considering, uh... Considering his background. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> the feeties. The because the mayor didn't know who like he was more of like a surprise thing. That's why there was a question mark there. Probably because he couldn't see who it was from that angle. I mean, alternatively, he could have just said run, and I think Max would have gotten the hint. But was probably more of a of a panic thing once he realized uh, who was there. Because I guess it could have been someone other than Max. I don't know who else it could have been. Because that's who I'm controlling. Could have been me, I guess. He doesn't know my name, so he can't say my name. So, we take out the only possible thing we can use as a weapon. Probably. And we got some Dark Cloud too. music here. Anyway. Oh, my X button! X button work! Oh god, okay. Okay, so... This weapon doesn't have, like, the stun proper- Oh, come on. Pursuit. Attack. Okay. Am I really gonna have to use a recover it? No. I ain't recovering. Come here! Are you backing away from me? All right, fine. They ain't teach me about this one yet. Charge attack, pursuit attack. All right, there you go. Peep. I'm gonna get you kill lots this game. Uh, maybe. I was like, I need to get a new one. I'm just gonna have to like shell out sixty bucks or whatever to get uh, a new PS4 controller. I was really hoping to not have to get one, but I also don't have a PS5. And considering how much I play on my PS4, uh, that would, uh, getting a new one at least is probably helpful, because, like, it, that, that's definitely got me killed quite a bit in Crash, because my jump wouldn't, uh, wouldn't work. Anyway, wrench became Battle Wrench. I don't know what that blinking is right now. All right, I guess this will have to do. Do I have a... I don't know if I have a, uh... Screwdriver, let me take this apart and see if I can figure out what's wrong. Well, boy, shall we begin then? I like that move right there. <laughs> oh boy! Oh, what now? Hand over the pendant, boy! Hand it over now, and I'll let you leave here alive. Pendant? You want this? 
Don't do it. Hey, look, it's like it's a little boy from earlier. Well, what's it gonna be? You can't give it to him. It's too important. Hand it over! No! No, I won't. Well, if it's going to be that way, then die! I was so scared then, but in a way it was really fun. And here comes Time is Changing, one of my favorite songs. Just the same for me. But this, this was the beginning I think I'm just gonna have to buy a new PS4 controller. That seems like the easiest thing for me to do. I'm not sure what I would need to get to fix my X button. Although, I guess, if I looked into it more, maybe I can figure out what I need. It says I might need to replace the silicone padding, but... If, even if I have to replace that, where do I get more? Oh, that would be the proper size. Yeah, no, this game's really old. It was like early 2000s game. Oh wait, no, I know the artist for this, never mind. I was like, I need to see who the artist for this is. I know who the artist is. But yeah, this uh, song is called Time Is Changing, in case any of you are curious about the name of it. Yeah. 
All right, so here we are. Fuck down in story, continue. Uh, you may want to save your progress at a save point first. Uh, normally, I think it would be okay without a save point. However, because of my current controller situation, I do believe I will want to save. I'm gonna have to save over my first save file. All right. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, now we're in the underground water channel, chilling down here with our boy Donnie. Um, there's not really much we can do at this point, so we have to talk to Donnie. So, uh, yeah. So what are you gonna do? Underground water channel. Underground water channel? So this goes outside of the town, right? Hmm? Yeah, I guess. Exactly. Hey, Max, what are you cooking up? Something's going on in the outside world. What? That flotsam guy is threatening the mayor. What? Why? I'm not sure myself. Oh, God. But flotsam said I just adjusted myself in my chair and I just got all blurry. A life, not I need to get a new chair outside. because I want to sit up straight, What's but it's so mean? hard with no back support. Don't know. But after Blackstone on this chair, went out of service, no one's left town. And it's not that they don't leave. They can't leave. The reason why the mayor doesn't open the gate must be so that people don't see the outside world. Yeah, I guess you're right. I never noticed that Donnie's shoes, uh... Going? What? <laughs> you're not thinking of... His toe was poking out of his shoe. Uh -huh. I'm leaving this town. Oh, hold on there. Seriously? But there's all kinds of weird creatures in the channel. I'll be fine. I usually use this to fix things, but it makes a pretty good weapon, too. <laughs> no use trying to stop you now. Hold on a sec. <clears throat> Voila! This is... My baby. But you'll need it more. It gets a little rowdy around here, so this guy will come in handy. Wow, really? It's okay? Take it already. Thank you, Donnie. And we get our first sub-weapon, the classic gun. For those of you who played Dark Cloud, the original Dark Cloud, uh, this might seem a little strange. Uh, because, as opposed to Dark Cloud 1, um, you know, each character had one weapon. In this game, uh, the playable characters have two weapons. You have your main weapon and your sub-weapon. Uh, we did see that briefly at the start of the game. With the character we had control of, had a sword as her main weapon and magic as her sub-weapon. Whereas in Dark Cloud 1, uh, the main character, Tone, used... Wait. Was it... Was it Tone? Was he the one that had swords and daggers? I think, yeah, I think the Tone had swords and daggers. And Ruby had magic. Or that's, both of those are on one character now. And, um, Max here, uh, has, uh, tools as his primary weapon, and secondary weapon will be guns. Use L1 to get in your stance and ready to your, uh, next to attack, uh, but if you're too far away, your attacks won't be very effective. And, that actually makes sense logically, because like if you're like uh, if you're downtown Ohio and you're trying to shoot something, odds are it's not gonna do much of anything. And with this one, we can keep in touch while you're in the channel. If you get lost, just give me a buzz. This gotcha. tone. I wasn't sure if that was his name or not, because it's been a while since I played Dark Cloud One. Watch yourself, Max. Yep. Tony, I need you to keep an eye out for those guys here. No problem. Whatever you say. Huh? Hey, why do I have to stay and watch? Max? <laughs> I'm a slingshot. I'm the main guy, Dark Cloud 1. Uh. Tone doesn't use slingshots. You're the, uh, the cat girl uses slingshots. Uh, Shio, I think was her name. Chapter 1 To the Outside World. I might have said the name wrong. Uh, I think it's like X. X-I-A-O, I think, was her name. 
remember Steve the Slingshot. It's funny because that gets slightly referenced in this game. So, chapter one's called To the Outside World. Uh, this is just the entrance where we just were, and uh, here we have uh, the first four outside world. Now, you see we have objectives to do here, and I don't have to do these, but if you do complete these, um, one of them is a, usually a time objective. Uh, the second one we cannot see yet, we'll learn about that one later. The third one will usually be some kind of, um, you know, clear without healing, uh, beat with only one kind of weapon. Um, yes, you could re uh, we found them in the cave place. I know you can name characters as you got them, I don't think you could rename them after that. But anyway... So here we are, Maximilian, in the underground water channel. Basically a sewer. Hello, frog. Uh, no, not really. I've only been alive for like an hour. Okay, then you need to get the floor map. It should be in one of the treasure chests on that floor. And here we're learning about the mechanics of the dungeon pulling aspect of this game. Um, like, oh, I'll, I'll finish up the conversation first, actually. The floor map will show you where you are on a particular floor. You shouldn't get lost if you have one. If you don't want the map in the way, you can turn it off and on. I guess that's just going to be the other side of the touchpad. I don't remember. I, I probably. Alright. In order to get to the next floor, you need the gate key. I think the one in the channel is called the key handle. I don't know if they gave you th this in-depth of a tutorial in the first game. Right? I really don't think they did. I... <sighs> Actually, maybe, maybe the Great Fairy did. Anyway, some of the music in this game might sound familiar because I've used it in, um, in my videos for when there's... when I need to add music. Anyway, clear dungeon floors. To advance to the next floor, you must clear the current floor by getting the gatekeeper monster using at the exit. If you fulfill certain conditions on when you clear floors, you receive metal. I just went over that. I use conditions by choosing to move on the main menu and selecting for you to view. The metal holder and the item menu show metals you have. Uh, there may be a surprise if you with the metals. Uh, we'll get into that later as well. Okay, so. Uh, here we have our battle wrench and our classic gun. Uh, these are our two weapons right now. Like I said, tool is going to be maximum main weapon. Secondary weapon is going to be um, guns. Uh, up here, um, we saw these earlier. I didn't go into these, but this is repair powder and gun repair powder. Uh, WHP is just weapon HP. For your weapons as you might have seen earlier um as i make contact with enemies with my weapon the whp goes down which is basically like you know their their durability before they um before they break um so the more times i hit things with the hammer the more that will go down and if they hit zero the weapons are broken fortunately very very fortunately unlike dark cloud one when weapons break in this game they don't disappear Right? They're just in a broken state where they do zero damage. So in Dark Cloud 1, your weapon just disappeared. So if you ever had a nice fancy weapon that um, you know you worked hard on, built it up, uh, and it broke, well, there goes that weapon. So that's very, very unfortunate. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for weapons uh, right now uh, that I'll go into anyway. So we saw a rat. Oh, look, there's a clown. It's chilling in the sewers. Why are you here? Okay, well... Okay, you should be dead, but my X button wasn't... Oh, hello. She's, uh... Use some gun. The reason I said it should be dead was because my, um... I was mashing X to attack it. But, uh, yeah. So here's, here's a... Instance of picking something up. Unfortunately, I missed the froggy. So far, we run into clowns and froggies, and as you can see, I'm picking up blue, uh, blue orbs. Those are called ABS, which is just EXP for your weapons. Um, I got destruction crystals here. 
The crystals are actually quite interesting. Uh, you saw I picked up a Sea Dragon Crystal as well earlier. And what the crystals do is something I'll get into a little bit later as well, because it's not relevant at the moment. But the experience for the weapons, um, as you would expect, uh, that's how you level up your weapons. And they can even, uh, you can even build them up, which is essentially uh, evolving a weapon in this game. That's your weapon upgrade system. More treasure chest. And we picked up the magic crystal. Uh, magic crystal in particular will show you what uh, monsters and treasure are on the map. I think it tell you that every time you pick it up, so in the off chance that you, um, that, like, you stop playing this game for a little while, you know, or something, um, you'll get that message. The downside is that it, I'm pretty sure it pops up, like, every time. And right here, you block and you hit X and you pick up, uh, these crates. However, as you see right there, there was an item in that one, which is why a lot of times I'll pick them up. Uh, because sometimes you can get items, but you can also throw them at enemies, which I tried to do earlier. Unfortunately, I just missed. Um, so I'm making some good progress. That was a sewer rat. That was the enemy we saw in the uh, the introduction. Ooh, a power crystal. That's actually a, quite a rare item, um, especially early on in the game. I'm really, really, really pleased I got that uh, as early as I did. Okay, I got faked out by the froggy there. Sometimes they can fake you out. They do have another attack. Most enemies will have two kinds of attacks. Well, at least two kinds of attacks they can hit you with. We've seen the froggy jump attack so far. Uh, where it jumps in air, kicks you twice. I haven't seen this other attack yet, and I really don't want to. Uh, let me set the points increase as your weapons level up. So my battle wrench just leveled up. Uh, to make your weapons even stronger, try spectrumizing items and combining them with your weapons. I can only combine synth spheres with weapons that have enough synth points. Parameters go up differently depending on the item being specialized. Learn more to help one in the main menu. So, what that was going over was what I alluded to earlier with the weapons upgrade system in this game. Ooh, a nice one, Crystal. So, uh, I'll go over that uh, just now. Since we have a, uh, a level 1 battle wrench, you select build up, and then you have you can see there's two paths here for the battle wrench. Now, I want the top path, I believe. But... Yes, top path. Top path is what I ultimately want. It doesn't make a difference at this point which one you go for. Um, most of the weapon paths are personal preference, but me in particular, I like to go for the top path. Um, so as you can see right here, we need to increase our attack. That's why this is highlighted in red. And for this one, we need to increase attack, beast, and smash. Um, those different parameters, you know, influence um, the damage versus enemies that are weak to, um, you know, those statistics. So, smash, um, you know, enemies that are weak to smash and weak to beast, uh, actually more scale. The higher those are, the more damage you do to those enemies. Um, and then you see we have elemental um, stats as well, flame, lightning, chill, and cyclone. Uh, those are uh, work a bit differently. Whatever is the highest will determine what element your weapon is. So right now, because our battle range has two flame, it's um, attuned with a fire attribute. So if an enemy is weak to fire, uh, we do a little bit more damage because we are fire attribute on this, um, you know, on this weapon. And I, I don't know if there's any resistances in this game uh, for element. Um, I know there are for weapon types. I'm not sure if there are for elements. Uh, like I'll put you skip. Uh, yes, 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 yes. That, that's what I'm saying. Uh, that's why I said for this one in particular, it doesn't actually matter um, because this. This goes to the true battle No, is this one true or is this one true? Uh, at any rate, for this one, um, the bottom path just eventually it takes you into a single tree or a single line that goes into the top path. That's what I was saying for this one in particular. It doesn't actually matter um, which one you go for, but I always go for the top path, knowing that this goes into this. Um, but it's also a bit easier for me to work on attack now because I have one of these, which is hard to find, uh, especially earlier on. So this is a power crystal, and power crystals are quite nice because they can increase your attack outside of leveling up. But these are also the hardest to find, if I remember correctly. And as you can see, that I synthesized one power crystal, and um, I used one synth point for that. We got plus two attack. Now you can use other items aside from the crystals for this. 
uh, just as an example here, since Spectrum has a bomb, it'll increase my flame by two. Alternatively, I can use fire crystals for that. Um, so it's worth noting that you can you can check uh, some other things, you know, see what you can get from them, uh, for just in case. You see that uh, it does flame, that does flame. This does chill, as you'd expect. So, um, you know, just be sure to check out different items if you're unsure or if you're out of crystals. Destruction crystals, as you would, you would guess, probably upgrade smash. I say probably because you might guess the upgrade smash, or you might not. I don't. I don't actually like if it's your first time playing the game, you might not guess that. Um, but also, you don't need to use all your points on things because for upgrading what you see right there, I'm not sure if I needed eleven smash. I I really don't remember, but. Um, you know, once you get to a certain uh, threshold, you'll be able to... It'll stop blinking red because you don't need to raise that anymore. Uh, I'll save my last synth point for now, but... Um, yeah, there's going to be a lot of weapon leveling up in this game, as you would expect. Also, um, a lot of grinding from me, because I like... Uh, those of you that have been around for a little while, or you, like, you might have seen me play this last time. Uh, I like to grind, and I like to make my things as powerful as I possibly can, so... And, like, for the most part, like, I know this game. I say for the most part because I'm, like, I'm doing everything based off of my memory from... Oh, well, there's the other attack these things can do. Um, if you're, if you're too far away, they just spit poison at you. Luckily, I didn't get poisoned off that, so... That's why I didn't want to see it. I was like, As you see now, we do a lot more damage to the sewer rats as well. Um, I say a lot more, but I think it's only like... I think only like four more damage capped at. Anyway. As you can see, the WHP for our... Um, gun is getting low, so I'm actually going to do that same problem yeah like you might notice when i played persona i did that oh also something really really important that i didn't make note of um because your your weapons um you get the exp after you beat the enemy um you only get experience for the weapon that did the last hit um if you're killing something with a weapon the reason i say with a weapon is because we have an item called bombs and I will show that off in a, in a second here, I guess. Let's throw that there. Now, if you kill an enemy with an item... Uh, I don't remember how much damage bombs do, though, so... To these guys. Uh, let me do that. Okay, they did 100 damage, as you're gonna see. Uh, both of both my weapons got a little bit of, um, of ABS off of that. So... Um, that's something to keep in mind if you want to try to get a little bit of ABS on both weapons, uh, but you can also just have the stronger weapon do most of the damage and then do deal the last hit with, you know, your stronger weapon. Oh, I'm sorry, your weaker weapon. Hold on. Yeah, because I can play like that, but I like to... Uh, are you going to level up off this? Let's see. Oh, okay, there's still one more enemy on here, at least. The reason I'm not healing is, one, because I don't really think I need to. Uh, and two, um, we had a condition for beat this without healing. So, I'm going to go for that as well. I'm going to try to go for as many medals as I can. So, um, yeah. Okay, there's one more enemy over there. Oh, three more, okay. Okay. Mm -mm. Classic I'm leveled up. Now there's a lot more things to go over in with this game, but I don't wanna like try to overload anyone. As you can see these are projectiles, not hit scan. <laughs> Get rid of hunger and thirst in this one. Uh no, they just work differently. Oh uh, well hunger hunger's gone. Uh, thirst just works differently. It's a status effect in this one, rather than 
um, being realistic. Alright. Okay, so that should level up my... Uh... Oh, I didn't go over that, uh, by the way. Um, I used it earlier, but uh, yeah, if you hold X down and then release it, you can use a charge attack. I just did, like, I did it and I didn't, like, I didn't even react to it. I'm just like, yeah, I'm just doing this. <laughs> anyway, the yellow points are the, um... Are the exits, exit gates, and use a gate key. Wait, did I pick up the... Okay, less enemy had it. I was like, I still didn't get the key handle, so even if I wanted to leave, I wouldn't be able to. And uh, here's, I think, Peace of the World is the name of this theme. Like I said earlier, like, the game, the music in this game is so, so relaxing. Um, you also might have heard some of these uh, when I play Overwatch. Uh, because I definitely have, um... I was gonna say some location names, but those don't mean anything because I haven't... Oops. I haven't been to those locations yet. Okay, this way. I don't know if I have this one on my playlist, but it's very, very calming. Oh, and again, uh, if you if you played Dark Cloud 2 or Dark Cloud 1 and enjoy it, I would uh, recommend playing Rogue Galaxy. It is another game made by level 5. Um, same art style, and it's a very, very... Um, I think it's very, very enjoyable. And like I said, Eric Matthews, or Wilfred Dell, is the, uh, is the main character from Boy Meets World. Because we beat it without healing at all. Finish without healing. I didn't get the time, obviously, because my I have starter weapons. Like this. I pressed on deeper into the underground channel. I had said I want to see the outside world to Donnie, but there was a second reason why I wanted to go there. I don't want to cut Max off. But basically, I have starter weapons, so like I'm not going to do that. And now we get a um. Now we get a preview into Max's uh, home life, and as you can see here, like I said earlier, the the red, what is it red vest, and this is uh, clothes where he was around the house. Max, where are your manners? Eat your dinner. Um, father, I'd like to ask you something. Yes? What is it? Uh, about Mother. Where is she? I'm sure I told you this already. Your mother is doing important work far away from here. But what's the name of the town, and what job is she doing there? It's nothing for you to worry about. Eat your dinner. This is just how you always are. You don't tell me anything. <laughs> Young sir. Would you like me to go after him, sir? Leave him be. So as we got to see right there, um, Max comes from a very, very well-off family. Uh, I was, I was going to bring it up earlier, but I was like, eh, we run into it pretty, you know, pretty quickly. As we see Max, like, you know, uh, tinkering with some machinery and helping out Cedric, when he really doesn't need to, right? Like, he could just live, live a life of luxury, but it's just that he would prefer to do that. Um, so the reason I came out here was because as you saw at the end of the last dungeon floor, I had 10 HP left. Um, by leaving a dungeon, um, you get restored to full HP. So, I figured I would show that now, uh, rather than, um, later since I actually needed the health. And our first upgrade for our classic gun needs attack and cyclone. <sighs> so, the reason I side right there is because this, you actually need quite a bit of attack on this, if I remember correctly, to level up into the next upgrade. Um, before the end of this dungeon, I'm sorry. Um, so I can... I think I need 12 Cyclone and quite a bit more attack, so I'm actually gonna not worry about that for right now. Um, well, also, Caveman, like, Thirst just isn't a thing in this game anymore, outside of, like, the status effect, right? Because um, if you remember in Dark Cloud 1, Feel Enemies using items, I cannot do that right now. Um... There was like a water meter, and eventually you'll get thirsty. And if you got, I don't remember if like your if you just died or if your HP got drained. 
if I got thirsty. I never had one. Um, but you know, they don't have the water meter in this game anymore. It's just a status effect. Uh, you just won't be able to eat if you get with thirst. Uh, so, bats. Bats are actually... Oh my gosh. I have, putting that cyclone would... Okay. I might have... Oh, can I have Oko to you if I put the cyclone on this? Hmm. Maybe. I might have been able to Oko that bat. I think the bat are, bats are weak to wind and gun. So, let's, uh... Let's see, shall we? Oh, also, JJ, I don't remember if it was answered earlier. Uh, I saw it, but, like, I, I didn't answer it because I was I was doing... Uh, I just had to be doing other things. Uh, yes, uh, the, thing, the question you asked about rebuilding the towns, that comes into play a, a little bit later. Uh, so... My bat... Can I open you now? No. I do 15 to them now instead of 14, though. And for those of you that have experience with this game or the first one, you have, you know, I'm opening turnips just the way that I do. <laughs> I'll get into it later uh, when it actually comes up, but. Hello, Baron Balloon. As you can see, these things don't take kindly to uh, to getting hit with wrenches. So, um, you want to use your guns on those for right now, I think? Or maybe it's... I don't remember if they resist wrenches or if it's that they... Uh... Okay, you know, they resist wrenches. I was like, I don't know if they resist wrenches. Oh, I mean, they could also just be weak to wind, alternatively. Oh, my favorite part, uh, are you going in town? Oh, yeah, no, that, that's actually, that's, that's a really big thing in this game. And also, like I said, like I mentioned earlier about, um, about Rogue Galaxy, that kind of makes a return in Rogue Galaxy? Um, it's not, it doesn't play as big of a, uh... Oh yeah, these guys can throw knives at you too, by the way. Outside of just, you know, swinging their knives at you. Yeah, they can throw knives at you. <laughs> so. Uh, I think the next level has a reason. Uh, I don't remember if it's the next level or not. I thought it was later on, to be honest. Ooh, this is good. So, as you saw, <laughs> there was a slight delay there, so I already knew what to expect. But basically, there's a clown sometimes in the starter chest. And you can identify that by if there's a slight delay um, when you open it. And you just get to pick a treasure chest. It's Happy Clown Present Time. Now, which would you like? Red box or the yellow box? Uh, it's basically random uh, what you get. Uh, so I'm going to go with the red box. Let's see what the yellow box had. I'll take this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no. This is, this is good. This is good. This is really good. Hello, Alex. Uh, they attack, they kind of being hit with a wrench. Being hit with a wrench? And this game, the rats? Well, okay. I, when I say don't take too kindly, I mean like they resist it, right? Um, because if you look at how, when I hit the rats versus when I hit the balloons, the rats take a lot more damage, right? The rats take, uh, take like 17, the balloons take 7. Um, <laughs> so... Like, there's, like, you can already see, like, the resi the different uh, resistances of copper. Nice. Um, on the enemies, already making, you know, irrelevant appearance. I got poison. Didn't really want to get poison there. So, the reason I said that was good... Um, I'll get into a little bit, I'll get into more of, in a little bit, but again, for those of you that have played this game before, or Dark Cloud, actually, was it a thing in Dark Cloud 1? I don't remember. Ooh, okay. Uh, I thought I would have killed him for that, I wouldn't need to heal. Um, 
Yeah, I'll just heal there. Whatever. X button are already starting to spite me. So now we can build this up into the true battle wrench. However, like I was saying earlier, I'm going to go for the top path. Uh, hmm. Should I do that? Hold on, let's think here. Because I think that, that ups my attack anyway. But once I get enough beast, I think I might actually just go for the bottom and then go into the top. Because like I had said earlier, um, for this one it doesn't actually matter. And as you can see, like it has a cool little blue effect right there and little, um, little upward arrows. Um, when, you know, when you can build it up. Because you do get an attack boost, but I don't remember how much attack you need. Oh, that's not beast, huh? Hmm. Well, since I'm almost leveled up, I will, uh, I will level up again, and then I will, uh... Oh, wait, hold on. Cyclone attack. Oh, okay. I think you're Cyclone? You're Smash. This is Cyclone. I kind of want to keep that for right now, so... Oh, there's also a... a mm. There's also an important thing that I didn't show. I might not be able to show that for a little while about the charge attacks. Uh... I'm trying to think of when I can first show that off, and it might not be till, can at least consistently until Dungeon Three. I'm trying to remember. I know, I know you can do it in this dungeon consistently. Oh, well, it's, it's really not that big of a deal. Like it's, it's just like a nice little minor thing that you can do with uh, with Max. Uh, but also, as you would expect, as you level up weapons, um, they they take or build up weapons rather level or or build up. They, oh my gosh, get away! They take more and more um, exp, right? So that's also another part of the reason why I'm waiting before I go ahead and um, build up this weapon because I'm partially through to a uh, to a level up anyway. Ooh, four flame crystals. I'll take that. Can I get some more? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to... Yeah. Bruh. I could have actually got a little bit lower, but... Uh, is that it? How much other chance? I'm gonna go back and grab it, just because it could be something useful. Oh, right. Um, the dungeon layouts of this game... Dungeon floor... Each floor is RNG. Um, the, well, it... It's a random... Uh, I always go exploding because if it's exploding, you lose your chest. Weapon destroying, I don't care about. Poison, I don't care about. Um, but, like I said, if it's destroying, if it's uh, exploding, that means you lose your chest and you take damage. Poison just drop you down to 1 HP, which it's not that big of a deal. Like, like you have not more than enough time to open up the menu, throw up an antidote, and then heal. Weapon destroying, you just heal your weapons with your repair powder. So, Ghost in the channel. Oh boy. So Max's right hand weapon. So now we're starting to see another uh, variant of of uh, of metals. So they want me to attack and defeat all enemies using Max's right hand weapon. All weapon is in his right hand. Well. The underground channel ran on ahead in front of me. And as I pressed on, heading deeper, for some reason, thoughts of you, Mother, filled my head. I don't remember your face now, Mother, even though I must have seen it so often when I was small. That was really weird how they, they, they take a white... Um, background for this loading screen. 
as opposed to the uh, the black one I usually use. So, um, what they were, they were just, you were just saying, like, hey, upgrade your weapons if you don't, the game's gonna get hard. Um, when we're already seeing the enemies take less damage from our wrench anyway. So, Max's right handed weapon, paying attention, that's his wrench. <laughs> so, they want us to attack and defeat all enemies with Max's wrench, right? Well, of course. Of course, there's bats here. I'm not gonna try to do that right now. I'll come back and do that later once we have stronger weapons. Um,. Because these enemies... I'm pretty sure all the enemies here actually resist Max's wrench. <laughs> uh, I do want to get some wrench EXP, though. So... What was that? Oh, that was a ghost. I can't... Oh, that's not a ghost. That's a phantom. Night Stalker. Okay, hold on. So the thing I wanted to show... Actually, I didn't think I could do that in the... Oh, I can't... Oh. So, alright. Well, basically... Um, for projectiles like this... You can actually, um, reflect them back at the target. But, because it missed the first one, it missed the one I tried to reflect, I was like, oh, well... I don't think the other ones are gonna hit me from this range. So I opted just to, to get rid of, uh, the Night Stalker. Uh, but yeah, I forgot that enemy was in the water, underground water channel. I was like, oh, I won't be able to show off the, the, one of the neat things you can do with Max's charge attack. Right now. Although it also seems like, uh, they don't take that much damage from the gun, it looks like. But there's their second attack, the little, uh, little spin of death. Okay, yeah, they don't, they don't like Max's, uh, wrench. Still getting a little bit of EXP there. Okay, so now you see we have the Drill Wrench and the True Battle Wrench. So if I go down to True Battle Wrench, right, I'll just to show it off. A little bit more attack, goes up to 17. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go to Drill Wrench. Now that's why I usually just go for the top one, because it ends up that way anyway. But what I don't remember actually is if you go straight to 18 attack, or if you just go to 17 attack. And you see here, now we need a lot more, um, because this is a much higher tier weapon. Attack, Flame, Lightning, Smash, and Scale. Um, I don't remember how many points I need for this. But the Drill Wrench is uh, quite nice, as you can see. It's a wrench with a drill on it. And uh, a little bit of damage, you know? Okay, Smash is done. Uh, so, oh, 18. So, three will give me nine. Do scale. I don't remember if the enemies, the enemies weak to scale in here, but I will definitely give scale for just in case. Also, don't remember how high scale has to be. I don't think it has to be that high. Yeah. Okay. I think lightning needs to be the highest element, uh, but I don't have anything that gives lightning right now, so I'll just give. Through the fire. I mean, I also need attack anyway. Um, and it's going to take a little while for me to even get to the next tier of weapon. Because I'm pretty sure the EXP I get at this point is. Uh... Oh, also, uh, select. Uh, select is what the. How do I use it? I think I have my food up first, normally, right? Food 
seconds food and recovery is what um uh, organizes your weapons or your items also while you're in a uh, dungeon time doesn't pass i believe it still says hold on it still says uh midnight or 12 a.m on day one we've been on the floor for a while if you're in the entrance though time still passes pretty sure Anyway, ah, so remember what I was saying. I don't know if enemies weak to weak to scale are here. Yeah, turtles. All right, cool. Anyway, so these guys were just gunned by a lot. Like, if you don't have a, a good scale uh, stat, and the reason I'm still blocking is because this can that can just keep rolling at me and just knock me away. And I really don't want that. So. Let's take it slow and block all that. I don't know if actually this dungeon. Uh, probably, because you can't actually leave this uh, this area until you complete this dungeon. Not like it also. Not like it plays that big of a um, a role. What? Baron balloon here. Yeah. Oops, two shots. Only needed two. Okay. Ah, okay, so this is gonna be our first instance of a coin. Um I don't know if there's a way to manipulate this, but there's basically an angel hat and a devil hat. Um depending on basically heads or tails. And depending on what you land on, if you land an angel or the devil, will determine what kind of effect you get. Devils are always negative effect, angels are positive. However, um you can get like a last minute switch. Oh god. Okay. And I'm like, if I land on Angel, it can just flip the double at the last moment. Or vice versa. Angel. I guess Angel helps you. Like, it can restore your HP, restore your WHP. Um, or even give you additional ABS. Uh, devil like half your HP or half your your W H your weapon HP. Uh, I don't think it does anything else. Those are only three things it can do. Ooh, clown. Okay. Um, can I get an attack gem? Or attack crystal? Oh, yellow this time. It wasn't red. Um, maybe I would have preferred red. Yeah, I think I would have preferred red there. An additional uh, battle wrench for now. Yeah, I don't have very high exorcism on this on this wrench, so it doesn't do too much damage to the uh, night stalkers. But that's okay. Yeah, still take good chunks of damage anyway. Okay, so we'll put the map right there for a moment, and then go around this way. Okay. Oh, actually, Caveman, I think it's, um, I think it's after the midpoint in this dungeon. Now that I think about it. I think that's when time starts flowing. But you do, uh, you do leave for the midpoint of this dungeon. More bombs are always nice. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Hey, we are ABS bonus. Also, like this screen, like lights up or brightens. Oh my gosh, three coins on one floor? Really? Alright. I don't think I've ever seen that many on one floor. I think the most I've seen is like... Actually, I don't even know if I've seen two. It's money too. Alright. That takes care of you guys. Oh, I wonder if I can find the thing. Ooh. 
Can I get the thing? Can I get the other uh, thing? I might have to. That's why I healed. And I was like, mm. So, right there we saw a booby trap treasure chest, a different from the uh, the other one. And basically, you can try to force it, which forces a trap on you. Or you could use a treasure chest key, a treasure key, which I don't have at the moment. So, also, I didn't remember how much damage it did. So I was like, hmm. In the off chance it's an explosion trap. I don't want a game over, so I'll heal. Luckily, I only did 15. Um, so it wouldn't have killed me, but still, like... Yeah. Uh, I've seen two, uh... But it's on just one. Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever seen one one. I don't know the first section. Oh, I, I didn't even see you said first section. I thought you said, uh... Uh, starts after the first dungeon. And then I think I, that's kind of where, like, I, I trailed off to get back to, uh... Over and making sure I don't die. So, can I find the thing here? It's only Cyclone still. Uh, actually, it doesn't matter. Oh, I'll, I'll hold, I'll hold, I'll hold. Uh, because if I think... Is it the next floor? The one after? I think it's the next floor. I'll save right here. Because there is something I'd like to pick up in this dungeon, but I don't... I might not find it. So... If I do, though, oh man. It'll be decent. What's all this? Donnie, I've come into a big chamber. There are what look like tanks everywhere. Gotcha. Thanks, Donnie. We gotta keep going. <laughs> what the? And how are we today, Max? I'm quite proud of you for coming all this way through the sewers, you know. By the way, Max, I took the liberty of doing a little research on you. For someone like you, living in a big house with no wants or needs. Don't you think it would be a waste if you threw your life away fighting us? <laughs> How sad indeed would your dear sweet mother be? What? What do you know about my mother? <laughs> what if I did know something? If you want to know more, give me that red stone. I've got plenty to tell you. Hmm. No, no way. I'll find my mother myself. I don't need help from anyone like you. Ah, you stinking brat! You will regret this, I guarantee! Take care of them, my darling Linda. So, here is our, our first mini boss. Her name is Linda. Now, I don't know if I have to get hit uh, to trigger the end of this. Uh, but basically, um, you just have to kind of do this a little while. Uh, our attacks have no effect, there's not much we can do. Heal and 
don't know if that's timed or like if we have to. That's no good. I'll never win like this. Get hit X amount of times. Now then, Max, what will it be? Ah! Uh oh. Huh? What? Max, you all right? It's me. Cedric, you finally completed the ride pod. Yep, I named it Steve. I'm still working out the bugs, but it's got plenty of punch. They were just gonna give someone a two piece and a well, did you learn wrecking ball. That's amazing, Cedric. <laughs> My sweet Linda couldn't compete with this one. Son of a gun here. Come back for more, huh? Take that. Huh? What the? Well, what's wrong? Hmm. Actually, I didn't finish that energy backpack yet. <laughs> I don't think she can handle any more fighting for now. Hop in, Max. Get on? But it can't move. Don't you worry about that. There's enough juice to get us back. Come on. Get in. Running away, eh? Linda, get them! Adios! You think that if he can, like, lift up an elephant with uh, his his ability, he could just oh, lift us up and kind of restrain us? But poor sports! But he's kind of like, you know, that... Overconfident villain type. He's like, ah. Like, you, you can't do anything to me. But, uh, yeah. So, for now, we can't do much else in the dungeon. Uh, yes. It is. Sunny, sleep well. Yeah. Tell me, Cedric, why do you think those circus goons are after this pendant of mine? Who knows, kid? But if what you overheard in that room at the circus is true, then Mayor Need definitely knows something. I'll talk to Need and see if I can get anything out of him. Just don't let that pendant fall into their hands, no matter what. I know. I won't give this up. Alrighty then. This thing here is the problem. Also, if I've ever mentioned Ride Pod or Steve, it's because of this game as well. We gotta finish this up and take care of that pesky elephant. All you need is an energy pack. Oh, this right? chair is so uncomfortable right now. I definitely need to get a new chair, Jesus. Yep. Well, Cedric, how about letting me handle that? Hmm. You telling me that you wanna make the energy pack for Steve? Yeah. I want to give it a try. Hmm. All righty then. The job's yours. All right. You know, inventing stuff is pretty tough work. I'll show you how, Sonny, so you listen carefully. I don't think I brought Steve the Rudder Steel lately, have I? Actually, do I even have a Rudder Steel named Steve? I don't think I do. I'm pretty sure Poldo. Uh, does Poldo have a Rudder Steel named Steve? No, Poldo has a Pokemon named Steve. I don't know what it was, though. Anyway, so here, co here comes one of the uh, the fun parts of this game. Or one of the tedious parts, depending on how you look at it. It could be both. Okay. Especially if you're newer to it, it's definitely... Uh, it's not, I feel like it's definitely a bit of both, uh, if you're newer to the game. Inventing something involves taking several ideas and combining them together to create something new. And ideas are, well, the building blocks for inventions. By combining the ideas inside your head, you can invent brand new stuff. Now here's some hints on making an energy pack for Steve. A milk can, pipes, and a belt. Now this is where things get tricky, see? 
Next, you gotta do some collecting. Here, use this camera. You can use it to capture stuff. First, press the square button to ready the camera. Then you can capture whatever you see in the viewfinder. Use the left analog stick to control the direction. And to take a picture, just press the square button again. Pretty simple, huh? Okay, my crypt uh, from the item menu, uh, use it with the square button. When a dungeon, you can only use a camera when it's equipped as an active item. So active items are basically the items that I have on my three slots above uh, my character where I have the bread and the repair powders. Now you better go take some pictures. You need to look for a milk can, pipes, and a belt. You should be able to find them all within a couple hundred feet of here. You ready, Max? You're on your own now. Go get them. So here, like I said, like he said before, here's where it gets tricky. Uh, he gives you your first recipe essentially for your um, for your idea. Um, and now what I'm going to do is because I always have this that slot. That. So now we can take pictures and uh, get ideas for creations for later on. So we're going to need, uh, it's just, oh god. Okay, hold on, why is this? Is that what I, hold on, is that what I like? Triangle. No. Okay, okay. I think that's how I like this. Uh, is it these? Okay, yeah, there's one. Uh... Other one. Other one. Another one. There. And these are all ideas that I'm taking right now, right? This isn't what I want to eat in particular for um, for the energy pack. Uh, oh no, I think it's this. Wait, really? Hold on. Wait a minute. Is that not Tiny Hammer? Okay, I don't remember where it is then. If that's not Tiny Hammer. Oh, that's right there actually. Keep hitting the wrong buttons. A robot, weight gauge. Uh, this oculus. A book reader. Okay. Are they ready still? Okay. So now we're in Palm Brinks. I don't think I've ever used the theme of Palm Brinks for anything, but you know, I probably have. Okay, so where where's the sun at? Oh. Okay, I missed that. The, I missed the morning sun, which kind of sucks. But again, I'm taking all these for ideas for stuff later. So we'll get into that. Oh, I didn't have that. I already had that one. So uh, before I fill up my um my idea dashboard, I uh, hit triangle. I think right. Yeah, you bring up here, and then you import the ideas to the photo book, or to the idea book, right? So all the new ideas that you haven't taken before, um, you'll import them to the uh, to the idea book, and you'll save them there, so that you don't have to go back and take the pictures again. They'll all be saved in here. And there's a lot of, as you can see, there's quite a bit of ideas um, to take, and it shows you how many pictures you've taken, how many ideas, how many scoops you've got. Um, scoops, I'll get into in a little bit, because... Um, a lot of them can be, a lot of them are missable. Uh, and it really sucks because, like I said, they're missable. And if you're your first time playing through, you probably don't know what a lot of them are. Luckily, I know what just about all the missable ones are. This one.
Anyway, uh, I guess I'll, I'll get kind of back on track here. A little bit. Uh, so, pipes are on top of Cedric's house. Or Cedric's shop. Um, the hardest one for me to get was this one right here, actually. The belt. Um, you have to come over here to this police officer and take a picture of his belt. Right? That was the last place I would I ever thought to look. So that was the hardest one for me to find as a child. Um, there's some other things we can find around here too. Pipe, belt, and milk can. And milk can is right here. I had to say it out loud because I didn't remember what the last one was. Okay. Okay. So now I can ex actually explore the town a little bit and uh, find some things. And some people actually pose for you as well. Uh, and. Uh, do I have flower already? Who now? But if we come over here to Polly, Polly's Bakery, um, you can actually buy things here, right? Buy some bread, um, super hot pepper, uh, sugar cane, flour, and water. So if you need, if you're short on bread, you can go back here and buy it. Um, because as you saw in the dungeon, we were picking up Gilda, but we had nothing to really spend it on just yet. Now we have things to spend it on. Uh, and I don't remember. Oh, I shouldn't have come in here yet. I shouldn't come in the Morton's. Uh, but yeah, you can buy bombs, um, repair powder, uh, monster notes, which is kind of nice to have if you like to see more inf uh, detailed information about monsters. Um, like I've been mentioning, like the resistances and things like that. And there, um, you can buy this, and I think it's once you defeated them, you can uh, you can see that information, uh, which is still helpful. But uh, oh, that doesn't count as a window. Okay, well. Flower. Book. Lock. And a layer. Uh, register. Thing one? Okay, it is. And again, I'm getting all these ideas for a little bit later. Because there are quite a few things uh, to make that will make my life easier. Uh, some stuff I might have to look up again. Uh, because I don't remember all the combinations off the top of my head. But a lot of them are really good to have. Uh, I thought that would be one. Uh, there's one shop window. Or show window on the shop window. Uh, wait, I already have that. This one? Wait, I think that one. And, and this weapon shop owner should look familiar. Oh, really? That's not one? Let's get the Iron Maiden. Uh, really? no. okay. Oh, also, right over here, because I'm here, right? Ready? Look at this. Max's idea search, uh, seeing the right in Max gets a hunch that something could be invented using charging ram tree and grass. So you can find these all over the game, and they will give you hints about things you can make. The downside is that there's nowhere in the game where it actually keeps track of things like that. So if you see them, you have to write them down, look it up, you know, what have you. Or like, just remember. Um... So that's neat. Uh, here's a weapon shop. Let's see some weapons here we can buy. I'm not gonna worry about it too much now. But there's not much we can buy. Okay. Cedric shop shine. Which time is it? Almost evening. Now I'm pretty sure evening sun is a thing. Oh, I can't go this way yet, right? Hey, no admittance beyond this point. You better turn back if you know what's good for you. Funnily enough, the clowns that are looking for us, two of them are guarding here, but... Yeah, it doesn't really do much. Okay, so I think the sun sets over this way? Okay. 
on. Give some. There we go. Because there's still a few more pictures for me to grab. I think I want to have 100 points by the time I'm uh, I'm done with this area. It's usually what I have, I believe. I already have sign, actually. Yeah, it doesn't matter how many pictures we've taken. Like, I don't think that has any influence on anything, if I'm not mistaken. Like, it's just kind of just like a, a nice little note. It's like, hey, you've taken, you know, this many pictures. Uh, so this car. And now, second level increased. Okay, that's 100 points, right? Yes, sir. And that'll, again, that'll be a little bit important for later. Um, actually, later is coming up pretty soon for that. Oh, what do we have here? I can't be sending an energy folks here. Come back when you're older, kid. Wait. No, that still counts as car. Uh, this. Yes. Oh, that's the rapper still. Okay. Uh, that's still barrel. All right. What else do I remember around here? If anything, uh, no. Okay, sign. That's a oh. That's about it. There might be a few more things that I'm missing that I just don't remember right now. But uh, oh, oh wait, did I get card already? Uh, I mean, I'll grab it. Let's... Worst case scenario, I already have it, and like I can't do anything with it, you know. So, uh, now we go to make. I'm gonna go to new invention. Uh, I'm gonna import these ideas. Okay, there's only two. What do you see this? All pictures. So, idea to invent, right? So, um. I know what I need for this thing, but I was thinking of something, because I know belt plus barrel plus something else makes another item. But I... Oh, what am I doing? I need belt. Belt, pipe, milk can. But I... I don't remember what it was. Uh, oh, oops. It's pipe and milk can. Okay. There we go. Oh, I hit the wrong button. That's why. Um, something good to note, though, is that if you're close to something, right? Yeah, it works. If you're close to something, right? So if I do, because remember, I I just said uh, like belt or barrel plus something else, right? Uh, this is milk can, right? If you're close, it's like, are you close to, oh, you think of something tuned? Idea starts with a T, right? So, I hit circle. Let's go down to our T's. Uh, I think it's belt barrel tree, actually. Yeah, okay. It was belt barrel tree. And uh, you can actually make energy pack barrel um, off of that as well. Uh, I don't think I can legitimately make this right now. Uh, mm. Can I buy rolling logs? I don't think I can buy rolling logs just yet. Scrap some metal. Uh, but yes, uh, that is something I can make. And uh, luckily, I already have a thick hide and a hunk of copper from the dungeon. Uh, so if we go back to like a Cedric right now, right? Uh, because it's kind of hard for you to... Well, I don't think you have the scraps of metal right now. Um, to have most of what you need. Come back and talk to Cedric. Well, hot diggity. I do believe you did it, Max. That's my boy. Next, I'll tell you how to take the finished invention card and make the real thing. Oh, yeah. 
It's a good thing I don't want to jump on my suit. In order to make it, you're gonna need some materials. The materials you'll need to make the energy pack are 20 scraps of metal, one thick hide, and two hunks of copper. Now off with you. You can get all the materials you need at the item shop across the street there. Hurry now. Here, take this. It should be enough. Oh God, allergies bothering me. I think it was 400 gilda, right? Now that's way more than enough. That way more than we need, uh, because all I need of those scraps are metal at this point. However, um, you can sequence break it and just make the barrel and make the energy pack and bring it back to Cedric. Um, night time though. Moon's out, so. Uh, oh, I, I love this skybox too. Like, look at it. Nice. And there's two moons in the sky. Look at that. Um, okay, so we're gonna go back to uh, Morton Sundries, I think is the. Yes. Yeah. Uh, 20 scraps of metal. Can I? Right, so you only really need to spend half of it. Uh, because we have the other items that we need right now. So I'm gonna do that. Wait, hold on. No, Rolling Logs, I can't buy uh, just yet. But yeah, that's our freebie for the inventions. And the energy pack barrel is just a better energy pack. Um, improve energy pack on more capacity. Yeah, so like, it'll just have more energy. And energy is how, essentially, uh, Steve is able to move, like they hinted at it in the cutscene. Um, it's essentially just like your gas meter, or like your, your gas tank for your car. Except, obviously, it depletes a lot faster, because Steve is not a vehicle. Per se. Like an actual, like, you know, like a real life vehicle, right? So. Uh, that also functions as his HP bar, so if you get hit, it takes away from your, uh, takes away from your, uh, energy. So, try not to get hit while you're uh, piloting the ride pod. Otherwise, looking slow. Oh boy, I knew you had it in you. So, you think you understand the invention process now? Yes. From now on, you gotta use your own noggin, find your own building blocks, and make your own new stuff. Got it? Well, in this current day and age, I don't have to do all that, however... There's still lots of building blocks hidden in this town, and I'm sure you'll find lots of new stuff wherever your travels take you. Keep your eyes open, you hear? I will. I'm really gonna pull out all the stops next time. That's the spirit, Sonny. Now then, why don't we finish up with Steve? Anyways, Steve. <laughs> Steve can handle longer battles. It's time to go get him, son. You see the ride pod by choosing it from the character uh, on the main menu, or to save time, just press R3. Max, when you think you're ready, just give me a holler. Oh, again, now we can control Steve ourselves. Uh, with that said, though, with that said, something very important. Oh, I wanted to save the game first. You all set? Uh, hold on a second. Just in well, case I mess this up. Longer. Well, what have you been doing? Hurry up and get ready. Um, because remember how I just said there are some missable, um, photos? Uh, yeah, so, because we're about to take on a mini-boss, as you would expect, um, there is a missable photo there. Um, I don't know if we can go figure that out yet. I'm gonna go see if I can figure that out right now. Because what I'm going to do is go to move, home brings underground channel, entrance. Now I could have just gone to the um, to the entrance of the waterway, like hard, just gone down the manhole. But we can just do that from the main menu as well. So um, what I'm going to do now is Patty trills with the raid. Appreciate it, Patty. How was your stream? Wait, Patty, aren't you like a normal human? Shouldn't you? Oh no, you live. Like Vegas or something, so it's not two in the morning for you. I was like, wait a minute, you're like a normal human, you should be in bed now. But yeah, you live on the other side of the world. Oh my gosh, I spelled your name wrong. 
Well, I mean, I guess to be fair, P is right next to O. But your name isn't Owadi Trills. How would you stream, Patty? Hello, Chaz. Anyway, come over here, talk to Donnie. Uh, dig for a scoop. Forgot our six more scoops. Come on, quit slacking. Where's your new inside scoops? Um, and because I increased the level of my, um, increased my photo level, I can buy a diamond here for free. Diamond's a really good reward, as you would expect. Um, if I spectimize it, well, I'll show you the status. It increases every stat uh, by 5 and smash by 10. That's really good. Oh, yeah, you are PST. I'm doing good, Chance. How are you doing? So, um, it is, you know, it is uh, another, like, additional feature you can do. You could also just ignore it after this point, I believe. No. There are some things you have to make. However, um, you know, you get nice things for it. And if we check the inside scoop memo now, that's. This one. Uh, Night Stalker. It, also, it tells you how to get them too, right? So we have Night Stalker, or one from Night Stalker, uh, Brave Linda, uh, Brave Little Linda, Clan Rebels Attack, uh, Baron's Hanging On, Master Utan, and King Mardan. I think that's it for now. Yeah. So if we. Because we're about to fight Brave Linda, right? Watch for the moment Linda stomps down on her little foot. It might be a little scary, but you can do it. So, it's good to check back in at the start of each chapter, I believe, is when Donnie gets more scoops. Um, the interesting thing is, though, you don't have to talk to Donnie to get these scoops. You can just, if you just know of them, you can just take the picture. And, you know, it won't be really... It's just not really much of a sequence break, right? It's just, if you know it, you know and you can take it preemptively without having to get the information from Donnie. Um, but I figured I would go show that off just... In case, like, you just have to play along or something, and you don't know what scoops are what. Like, I just kind of know, because I played through this game a lot as a kid. So, I was chilling. Okay, not bad, not bad. You all set? Uh, but some of them are kind of hard to get. Oh, did I meant to hit okay. Dang it. Okay, that's, that's my fault. You all set? Okay. Let's go. All right. Time to saddle up and head out. This door leads to the underground waterway. You'll be heading out on your own, son. I'm gonna see if I can't get something out of need. Loud and clear. Keep your guard up. Leave it to me. Hello, skin. Lena's little foot, yeah, Lena's little foot, dude. Also, I love when I was from Patty's, uh, Patty's stream. I don't know if I said hello. Alright, anyway. Nowhere. I did? Alright, well, shows how much I'm paying attention right now to what I'm saying. That might just be a streamer thing though, right? Like, you might just forget things you said like five minutes ago. I'm like, did I say hi to you? I was like, I don't remember. I was like, yeah, you did. Are you sure? I was like, well, hi again anyway. Anyway, so here's our, our first mini boss. Um. Oh, off rip? Oh, free. Okay, so I didn't have to bait her into that. Cool. So that was uh, that was brave little Linda. <laughs> uh, we have 80 HP or 80, I guess, fuel, right? But like I said, that also functions as your HP bar. Uh, I think her using that attack is RNG. Uh, but luckily for me, she did it off rip, so I didn't have to worry about baiting her into it. Like I said. Take that. And uh, as you would guess, after you beat the mini boss, you can't go back and get the scoop so if it's a scoop from a boss or a mini boss and you miss it it's looking slow oh, you little brat. I won't forget this. that was pretty easy but the outside world 
Right then, my heart was filled with expectation, wondering what kind of places I would find. I had no idea that the incredible adventure I was about to begin was beyond anything that I could have imagined. Need a ride pod with the ride pod command on the character man. You already said that. I have to refill the ride pod for you. And the ride pod builds up EXP, you can get something to upgrade the ride pod's core. Course capacity for equipping more parts uh, will then increase. Here's the course capacity to try and installing blah, 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 blah. Installing various parts to make the right part you are Moving on, anyway. You customize the ride pod, right? And by upgrading the core, you have more options for customization. That. There you go. Um, it's just like leveling up your weapons. Uh, can I actually look at that right now? Can I see my core? Oh, I can. In the main menu. Oh, oops. Right here. Let's see. Um, zero out of 12 parts use, uh, space used for the core. Six body is just your defense. Um... Oh, I'm sorry. That's your... The, the 0 out of 12 for your core is your defense. The capacity is... Um, is your space for, like, customization. Wait. No. What? No, because body is defense. Body is defense based off of your... Uh, wait, where... Is that... Oh, it doesn't show me the, the body. I guess because I don't have another body part for it right now. But you can change the actual body of it. Like, you see how it has this... I think it's called a drum body? I don't remember the name of it. Um, but you can customize the body, the arms, the legs. And, obviously, the energy pack as well. And, like I said, it gains um, it gains EXP much like your weapons do by defeating... Wait, is it that way? Yeah, it's that way. Defeating an enemy... Uh, drops W, uh, drops ABS, and then you pick up the ABS, and you can then uh, get experience for the ride pod. I don't remember how much EXP is needed for the first core upgrade. I think it's like 200 or something. Probably around 200. That sounds about right in my head, anyway. Uh, no, it's probably more. Because I feel like this one after that is a lot more than 200. I can go look. It's not that big of a deal. Cedric! All right, Mead. What exactly are you hiding from me? Tell me everything you know. Mm. Mm, I see. So you realize too, have you? Damn. But sometimes it's better not to know. <clears throat> Why are you hiding things from me? I thought we were friends, Mead. What's going on? Spit it out, will ya? Okay, okay. I can't go on hiding it anymore. I'll tell you everything. I'll tell you what's going on here in this town, in this world. Oh, yeah, we did see, uh, hear about that. It's 900? Okay, well, that's a lot more than I want to give. Please don't worry? Okay. Yeah, probably. I'm just gonna, just gonna throw up a quick save again in case my X button decides that it doesn't want to cooperate with you, boy. Um, there are a few more scoops we can get here. Um, anyway, Steve's battle diff attacking the enemies using the ride pod. So, we're gonna try to do that, uh, because that's a free metal, essentially, especially at this point in the game. Um, it's also worth noting that the ride pod's weapon also has, um, WHP. So, you're gonna need to manage that as well. Uh, that's an interesting, uh, spot to start with. Magic Crystal of Rip. Okay. Wait, where's the... Okay, there we go. Okay, so... Uh, this one we have to bait. Because this is, uh... I don't know how to... God, 13? This one always gives me trouble how to... <sighs> okay, this bat's gotta go.
Oh, wow, you have three attacks. Okay, well. Hold on. Uh, this is where we get Baron's hang on from. Get a shot of Baron Moon being flipped over by a Vanguard during a trample attack. I don't know how to bait that, though. I don't remember. I always, like, I always dirt hard on this one. It's during a trample attack? Oh, I died. Okay, well. I don't remember how to bait the trample attack. I know what it looks like, but I don't remember how to make him do it. That's the issue. Uh. Maybe I'll just wait to come back after I have more H. Well, I, if I figure out how to... Oh, right. I'm, I'm hitting options, like, that's gonna work. Well, there's the first game over. It shouldn't have happened that way. But alas, I got sloppy. Do I have to run away from it? No, because it's it's like a close range attack. That's the I'd met a crystal off that as well. Okay, since we have to attack him only with the right pod anyway. As you see there, I lowered my, uh, I think my three. Um, however, it is much faster right now. Okay, so we ran into the issue, or to the uh, the reason why I opened Dirt Shift from behind. Yeah, it's because uh, of Mimics. If you've played like, any kind of RPG before, you probably had an idea. Or, you know, if you played this game, or the, or the first one, as to why I would be... Oh, come on. Open a character from behind because mimics are a uh, thing. Because I'm already on the right pod right now, but I think this is a mimic. Ah, it's exploding. Okay. So Max is poison. Yeah, getting Baron's hanging on right now might be, uh... Especially because I... If I'm this close, I don't think I'll be able to... to grab it anyway. Oh, wait, hold on. This hole might be just what I need. Make sure there's no more enemies near me. Mm. All right. Well, maybe this isn't what I need. Explosion. Oh, you know, that's why, that's why I said uh, the first few times I did it. That's why I always picked Explosion. Okay, that's not it. How do I... Oh, I thought I was going to do it there for a second. Hold on. What if I just back really far away? Alright. I'm I guess I'll just have to come back to this one later. Because I like legitimately I don't know how to uh Ah Maybe if I attack him from range, but I don't want to do that on this floor because I'm trying to get the metal. I, I could always come back and get the metal later, to be fair. 
I figure I might as well do it now since I'm going through the floor anyway. Oh, Night Stalker. Okay, cool. Have to get closer. I think I do. There we go. I have to take a, a picture of it spinning attack. I thought I was going to get hit there. I don't think I'd be able to, uh, to get my guard off that quickly. Unknown born. Okay. Also, uh, how I mentioned earlier about the, um, if you KO an enemy with, uh, with an item and switch back to max, you'll get WHP, uh, for, um, not WHP, you'll get ABS for both, uh, both of your weapons. Uh, same thing applies with Ride Pod. If I kill an enemy with Ride Pod, uh, switch back to, um, max, the so whatever weapons I've equipped on max, both will get EXP. Uh, that is slightly relevant because if you're like in a stronger, if you're in a later dungeon and you're trying to level up uh, somewhat weaker weapons, <clears throat> uh, you can just ride a podcast and then get EXP on both weapons for quite a chunk of uh, EXP. Alright, well. I think it's a later floor. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait a minute. What if I uh, do that? that. Oh, okay, well. Okay, that's the attack I need, but I don't... How did I... Hmm. I have to get a picture of, uh, of the Baron that's controlling the Vanguard while he's doing that. Uh, oh, also, you might notice this... Uh, WHP on this goes on quite a bit faster from attacking a... Uh, one of the larger enemies, um, because they're they're a bit more durable, so it takes it takes away more of your uh, your weapon HP uh, because the enemy is more durable. Red crystal, not bad. Okay, hold on. I think I have enough space to, for a new energy pack right now, though, to be honest. Okay, I selected so combo cancel. So. I think I'm done here. Well, I'll just run around over there to you. That big of a deal. I also have Red Pod, um, Red Pod Fuel, in case I need to refuel. However, if you remember, it did say that Cedric can repair the Red Pod, which is, um, uh, it's very, very nice, because he'll actually do that for free. He'll refuel the Red Pod, and I think he repairs the weapons as well, um, if you just go back and talk to him. Which, again, is really, really nice. Night Stalker. I think I have enough fuel. I don't get hit, that is. Okay, if it is only 900, that's, that's actually really, that's not even bad, because on this floor alone, I've gotten almost 300. attacking all the enemies. However, however, what that also means uh, is that uh, my weapons aren't, Max's weapons are not getting uh, any EBS because it's all going to the ride pod. So you just kind of have to like pick and choose like, well, do I, do I want the, 
I want the EXP going. Oh, come on. I want the EXP going to my ride pod, or do I want it going to max, you know? Yeah, so I got 300 off of that. Oh, this floor alone. Over 300, actually, because I still have one of my enemy to kill. Baron Tang, I'm gonna elude me for a little bit, but I mean, I guess that's fine since that's usually one of the, uh. One of the harder ones for me to get. Cut it really, really close there. Also, another little cheeky thing you can do is if you haven't opened, um. All the treasure chests uh, on a floor um, where you know, where you killed all the visible enemies, you can kind of use that to your advantage to see if there's any mimics on that floor. Um, because you only get this message and this music change when you defeat all the enemies on that floor. So, if for whatever reason, you know, like I said, if you haven't killed all the like you kill all the all the visible enemies uh, through the magic crystal. Um, you're like, okay, well, there's at least one Mimic on this floor, you know? Oops. Wrong one. I'm actually gonna go back to Cedric now. I think the next floor, for the most part, I'm gonna try to use my, um... My Ride Pod? Or, uh, not my Ride Pod. Uh... So, there well, it depends is. on what I need, actually. I don't know if I need That's Ride Pod or not. This is all about. You expect me to believe all that? So just what do you plan on doing, huh? Well, there's nothing that I can do. You ignoramus! What's wrong with you? You're supposed to be the mayor of this town. Uh, you're right, I'm useless as mayor. Come on, Need, what happened? You didn't used to be like this. Mm. Gosh darn it, Need, I just can't believe you. That's it. Need, just start the Blackstone Railroad again. Blackstone Railroad? The reason you shut down the Blackstone Railroad was so that no one could leave and see the outside world, right? Well, that's not necessary anymore. Now we need to leave this town and see the outside world. If we do, then we just might find a way around this. Hmm. Come on. Right, let's reopen the railroad. Did my game freeze? No, it always takes a moment for that. That's right. That that scene just always takes a little bit. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Everything set. I forget it does that. Like every time I forget it does that. It's a go. Great to be back, isn't it, sir? Yeah, 20% more cold today. Roger that. All righty. Blackstone one. Here we go. I didn't have the guts. I'm counting on you, Cedric. Okay, so the funny thing is, right, I'm pretty sure if I just go back and talk this, uh, go back to uh, Cedric's workshop, I think he's still there, ironically? Um... Let's see. 
I mean, I guess it makes a little bit of sense if he is there. I mean, if he's not there, he's not there. I do have some ride pod fuel. Um, but if he is there, right? Um, if in case you want to repair the ride pod uh, or upgrade your ride pod, like you legitimately can't if he's not there. Well, that would kind of suck, but I legitimately don't remember. Okay, yeah, he's still here. So, I'm going to refuel. Upgrade core. And you come to this menu here, and um, here's a core upgrade. Uh, it is 900. Uh, 600 for the shield kit, which raises your defense. And you can get a voice box. Um, if you buy the voice box, I don't know if you can turn it off. Um, I like having the voice box. I don't remember if Poldu liked it. I think Poldu was okay with it at first, and then it just got annoying, which, that's understandable. 